Welcome back my loyal subjects of funk to this brand new Let's Funking play of Fear the Awakening. Actually the um, the second time I've Let's Played this but we have a new DLC called a Return of the Giants which has just come out today and it was for free, absolutely for free. So I'm going to run through a couple of the features actually. So we've got, so we've got um, 70 new events and a giant quest line about giants. 70 new events, an event editor, new buildings, and new creatures, and all this for free. I am so happy, because this was my favorite game of 2015. And obviously here we've got, um, we've had to get rid of our previous game, sadly my old save, which I've, because obviously I've been playing this since, um, since we previously, uh, since we previously played, uh, let's played this. I've been playing this game like mad, and I've built my skills, the funk up. And uh, so last time we played as Velez, who had three bonuses to his place. By now, because you earn every time you complete the game, you get new experience. Um, and we've only got three available at the moment, but I might even go for Sav Svarog this time. Sun's blessing, guided by the power of the sun's return, your villagers gain experience faster. I quite like that. I would like to get him uh, trained the funk up. Um, Svarog, we're going to change the custom difficulty as well. We're currently on novice. This is the uh, this is the difficulty I quite like. We've got um, a huge world size, snail's pace, economy easy, and challenges difficulty is novice. Um, the next one is experienced. I, I just found that if you're starting off on level one then the best thing to do is just to play it on novice. Once you get up to the next levels, play it on harder and harder until you get better experience, because we'll probably uh, end up playing this a lot more in the future. I love this game so much. So we'll go ahead and hit play. I've <laughs> been messing about that long so far. And uh, we'll load this Funk King game up. Thea is awakened. Welcome. No time to waste. You are a deity of the High Pantheon. And you must help your worshippers survive the darkness. So what now you ask? You are divine. Yes, this is the tutorial, by the way, and I'm just going to skip the fuck out of it. Because right. sure? I've played this there game no extensively now. You know. Yeah, that's fine, pal. When you have time, craft me ten cooked, baked, or roasted food. Any type. You may want to research some varieties as well to match your supplies. Alright, pal. Also, Leave these ten crafted foods in the village until I show up. That's where we Remember yep. to check the magical help button to read more. Right. Yeah, I know more about any mechanics. Okay, thank you, sir. Right, okay. Um we'll do that for him. We'll make the cooked food. Obviously I've played this a lot, so I'll explain you uh, the rules. It's much better than me sitting and going through the old uh, tutorial. And we'll get him those 10 uh, cooked, uh, baked or roasted food. Uh, plus 5 experience and plus 2 research. So everything is good. So let's see what we're starting off with here. Um, let's have a Uganda. I haven't played this in a while, so um, yeah, the best thing to do is to... This is the inventory, and this is our expedition. Have we got... Uh, yeah, 6 in the expedition, 6 characters. And uh, it's very much like an RPG from above. And um, obviously... It's our uh, turn-based strategy at the same time. Now this uh, little thing here indicates that there is a treasure. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the Funkin' treasure up you by inspecting. Of an old city, engulfed in mist and mystery. Let's search. You search the buildings and discover a supply store still intact. I can't remember that being narrated. Brilliant. Five amber, fifteen nuts, and three scaled leather. Now that is uh, that's that's new. That is absolutely new, because I've never had those two items before in, when I previously played this, and I've racked up about 12 hours on uh, good old Steam. I'm going to bring the music volume down a little bit, because I can hardly hear the uh, the voice effects in my lug holes. And we'll set about, and here's another thing you have to do, we have to go and visit the village of Ostoya, which is your default village, and see what we can produce. Vegetables and wood, absolutely spot on. Oh my god, we have some sweaty characters here, like. This is absolutely brilliant. Um, oh, look at that, a friggin' blacksmith as well. Get the funk in. Um, yeah, we'll set them all off for now until we've got some more resources. Two children as well. 
and um, when the time comes we can make some uh, production in crafting we can craft items cooked meals as we were requested and constructions and at the moment we've only got pastures in constructions so let's get funking going I don't think I've seen chickens as well maybe that's a new feature I'm not totally sure about this but um, don't worry about the top corner where my face is because um, there's not much to see up there there's an image and uh, yeah, there's some other things about our party, but it's not important. Not as important as me. You stumble across some ruins of an old city, engulfed in mist and mystery. Let's give it a good search then. One of the buildings, a strange-looking stone and metal built affair, and you hear a clunking noise, then a blunt thud. Before you are able to do anything, you see a skeleton charging your way. Let's give it a good old fight. One skeleton and four hulking vats, rats, and I will um. I will join in with this. Right, so, first of all you get uh, two types of cards. Tactical cards on that side and aggressive cards for fighting on this side. And you want the ones with the best attack power and the ones with the best uh, health at the top. And you can reshuffle once, because as you can see, why wouldn't we want this person over in the offensive hand? And that person there, because we've only got, we've got two decent ones there, but I bet you if we reshuffle, we lose one of them and gain this guy. Ah, uh, we were lucky. We got we got good. What's this a new feature here? It looks like um, poison. Player's turn. Uh, who's going to be dealing the sweatiest damage? This woman here, we want her to go first because she's got low amount of health, but massive attack. So I'm going to play that first, and hopefully they don't get this special type of card, which I will uh, explain. Right. Okay, player's turn. Do we have a first action? We have a level 6 first action. Right, she's got 4 defense, 4 shield. Yeah, I want this guy to go first. Oh, sweet. He pushed in. Blend turn. This hulking rat. Ah, and it's confused. You can play attack hands from your cards from your tactical hand. We get closer, and they come in, but they miss a turn. So we could bring her in if we wanted. She'd be a really meaty fighter. However, my personal choice is to use first action. Ah, we don't have a level two. We've got all level threes. Uh, we'll bring it. We'll use first action on this person. End turn, and hopefully they won't use a first action on one of their cards. Right, okay, spot on. Right, we'll, we'll play this one. This person's useless, by the way. Seven health, three attack, and absolutely no abilities. What the fung? Ah. Shit. Okay, that wasn't good. We were relying on something there, and it didn't pull off. Right. Well, all we can do is... I could use get closer but I'm not going to because if he gets hit he's gonna die mate we can take down we go first and as you see we used their first strike to get that over there there we go you see we got hit by that but it's not a problem we only suffered one damage if it goes low really low then you're in a uh, massive amounts of trouble because you, your characters can permadeath there you go see one wound Oh, we got a, a, a doctor's medicus. Big sweaty hammer, I believe. Hits hard. <laughs> it uh, is as hard hit in, in the nugget. Right, okay. Let's take the stuff. We've got some experience there, and you'll see what happens when we level the funk up. In fact, we've got enough to now uh, choose some research. And um, we can either go for choosing or identifying new items. Um, that we can find in the world, or we can go for crafting, and we can craft new shit. But we've got uh, a lot of food at the moment, so I'm going to go for construction. And we've got new some new buildings here, which is absolutely fantastic. Oh, um, what do we want? A smithy, a well provides a smithy. What have we got? We want something that's going to attract, increases health regeneration cabbage field for more food does not stack with other watchtowers we don't really want that yet because we I'll show you why later but we want uh, something we want the smithy first really 
We'll get the smithy. Right, which way are we going to go now, he says. We'll go this way. And we'll go and get some more treasure, because that's the best thing to do. Obviously, we're not going to come across any giants straight away, but there we go. We've just leveled up our characters. And in the party, we see, receive plus two tactics, two will, plus one health, and etc. for the characters that are there. And the ones in the town, they also uh, get the experience as well. So everybody levels up when the, uh, the experience fills to the top. I think my face is actually covering that experience thing, but who gives a monkey's uncle? I think maybe I should swap this to the bottom left corner. You stumble across some ruins of an old city. Let's give it a good search! And we'll fight. We'll auto resolve. Ah, we won. Because we know we can win that one. Plus two experience again. And thus we have uh, uh, swapped the camera to the bottom left. So let's go ahead and continue, because there is nothing down there other than a query thing. I'm sorry about that. So you can see everything that's going up here now. We have enough food for 11 turns. We have uh, six people in the party, enough firewood for not much longer, actually. I'll tell you what, though. It, it, it's not... It, the frames that we're skipping now aren't very good. Let's go for tactical. I'll show you a tactical fight. So we're going to go for a tactical approach, in which we... Uh, uh, what do we really want here? Again, we want these two, so let's reshuffle. Oh, and we got them as well, absolutely spot on. Players turn first. Um, so, this is a tactical approach, so we might be surrounding the enemy, we might be coming around the back, or whatever takes your fancy. And uh, who do we want first? Well, we don't want the person with the most defense first, so we'll go ahead and pick uh, this person. And he is good for something, it would seem. He knows the crack when it comes to tactical maneuvers, as you've seen, but you only had uh, seven health last, last time. That's uh, still not good enough to. Uh, it's a level four. We could go for a level four confuse. We could do that. Which means we will kill it. He does 8 damage to that. Yeah, fuck it. Right, we're gonna win this. Let's end. We got this one pretty easily, actually. And here we go again. Right. We don't... Oh, we do have a, a level... S oh, we got... Oh, he's already confused. He's already confused. Right, um, support ally. Yeah, fuck it, right. Watch this. Get that attack right up to 10. And then we'll watch the battle unfold. There we go. And that's it. Phase 2, we have won the tactical fight. And the good thing about that is we get absolutely no, um, no injuries. We just got a shield as well. So let's go ahead and have a look, see if we can equip anything here, because sometimes you get some um, rather meaty equipment. Uh, this guy, you can see, they've got a maximum weight as well, so he can't hold much. But there's no harm in giving him, say, a shield. And that one's quite light, actually. Just too heavy for him, that. Yeah, and he could do with some dexterity, because we don't want him to... See, this, this shield here will give him 4 armor, 7 shielding, and 1 dexterity, and it only weighs 104. And uh, the other shields, some of them weigh a little bit less, but they do not give by any means as good as stuff as that. Because if, if he is forced to uh, go into battle, we don't want him uh, dropping like a sack of spuds, I'll tell you that. Uh, what do we have here? 300, 165, not quite enough. Sadly, she can't hold any armor there. And this guy, oh, he has 500. And we could go ahead and drop the uh, the shadow armor on him straight away, right off the bat. Wonderful. Yes, get in. We are doing well. Oh, that'll do us. She could do some armor as well, but we'll pick the stuff up on the way. We'll uh, we'll go to the spider's nest. We will uh, attack it. Four malicious spiders, very easily done, very easy enemy, so there's no point in fighting that. Um, and we will head back to Astoria, because as you see, we only have enough firewood for two more turns, which would be uh, tragic. 
I see two more nighttime turns, I think. You need a lot less wood than you need uh, anything else. Oh dear. That's not good at all. Apparently it's a level one uh, level one enemy, but yeah, let's go for it. Let's go in there. I am going to... We can do a social because it's a human being, so we can try and go in there and talk them out of... Uh, we can go tactical, we can go sneak. Or we can go full frontal attack. I think we'll go sneak. Um, we'll lay and wait. Stay as a statue ready to pounce. Let's wait for the moment to kill and we will... Uh, Begin combat. Right, what do we want here? Oh shit. Yes, we got the one we want, which was her. That's a good six attack there, and we'll keep and play with that opponent's turn first, sadly. Free attack, it's a level two, so we could use a level two confuse on it. That's a uh, very good indeed, actually. And if we play her she will do seven, exactly seven damage to it which is enough just to kill and go ahead and then turn ah oh, you Nazi you absolute Nazi oh we'll only take three, three damage so it's not, uh, it's not that bad counter tactic first action, can't use first action get closer confused we need to be able to kill this in a in two turns oh we can do it it's only been given one defense we just need this person and that's it we'll use get closer with her as well because the rest don't have attack you see zero attack zero attack no point in even using them there we go dead as doornails didn't even matter. Oh yes. You have won. Oh yes, 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 yes. A small amber charm. Good. Let's take their stuff and continue on. Um, I will go into the old inventory section. Let's have a look at this small charm. And yeah, it goes there. This person can... You can take two charms now. Is that true? Ah, you couldn't take two charms before, don't you? Oh no, you could. Who knows what I'm talking about here. Right, what does it do? Ooh, gives concentration... Gives concentration bad quality and one gathering. This person's the medic. It only weighs eight. I'll give it to you. You want that concentration. I think concentration would be good for somebody who uses intellect and hex. Um, doesn't say anything about... We've got a plus one gathering. Not much else. We'll, uh, we'll try and get back to Ostoya. And we will dump some of the shit we have found in Ostoya before we uh, proceed on. Okay. So we've got 21 amber there. We'll, we'll give that because we need this because this all uh, contributes to building equipment. We have special wood there. So, oh my god. Oh, we have. I thought we'd got absolute next to no wood, but we've got the standard wood. Um, yes, I think we can just. If I'm correct. Yeah, we can just move it over by holding the shift button in. Spot on. Clear. Lever. And we will send back a couple of these shields, because they're all shit as well. And we will go for 20 wood into the expedition. And where's our food? Oh yes, get in. And we will take 122 food, if you don't mind. Uh, thank you very much. And we'll go and check it. We'll, uh, we can equip the villagers as well. Let's see what we got here. Most of them are using double handed weapons. In fact, they all are. She could take a shield, actually. Ooh, a nice shield. Another dexterity point. Yeah, it's a fantastic shield. Right, better than nothing. You know, every little helps in this game. And we shall go north. We've got 28 turns of uh, food, which is wonderful. We're in, a, we're in a very landlocked world this time, which I find particularly interesting. Because usually I'm uh, right next to the coast whenever I've played this in the past. Standard, ruins, fight. Let's begin combat because there's seven of them. Ah, we've got a pretty good uh, pick there. Opponent's turn first. 
A sweaty hulking rat. God, there's a lot of them here actually. We're gonna possibly lose something. And uh, we have very poor stuff here. I'm not gonna use, I was gonna use Confuse there. But as he can take that out in one shot anyhow, if I use, oh we've only got, we've got level six first action there. Oh, he's, oh, he goes in front and he, out, and he kills it outright. Absolutely spot the funk on. That's actually brilliant. Um, let's go ahead and put her in as well. She's got a lot of health. A really sweaty amount of health. I'm just hoping they don't have uh, good first actions. Because that would be absolutely uh, catastrophic. Okay, we will play her. We will play first action. Yes, yeah, sod it. We'll bring him right up to the front. And uh, we'll use the last card to bolster the defense of this lady. Shield ally, if you don't mind. Brings the defense right up. And why not uh, use a bit of confuse? We can knock most of these out. In fact, we shouldn't have done that. Because we go first anyhow. Silly move by me. One of the worst moves I have ever ma made in this card game. These hulking rats are all over the joint. We should have used it uh, around here. See you later. See you later. See you later. Yeah, it gets four off. That's fine though. It's not a problem. Doesn't even get through the armour. We make them sit the funk down. And we win this absolutely outright. We outright victory for the king against these deformed bats. You search the buildings and discover a supply. Let's take this shit, including gold. Spot on. Let's just hope that I can uh, do better than the last time I played for you because um, last time, I'll be honest, I didn't do the best in the world. Ah, that's shit. But these lot will attack us anyhow. And what is it? Ooh, two, one unliving corpse and a broken skeleton. I'll have to fight this one personally. We don't. We want him on the bench at all times. We preferably we want her on the bench as well, though. Keep and play. I'm not. I think that would have turned out worse if we had. Uh, oh my god. Oh dear. Right, this is the guy that if we. Yeah, he can sneak in first. Thank you, sir. Oh, we've got another card to play. Oh, God. Um, she's got a lot of defence, but not much health. First action for... Level 6? Now, preferably, I would like her behind. Have we got a counter card option here? We don't. We do have a level 2 confuse. Hell, we're knackered. Okay. Right, so he can do 14 damage, which will bring him down to 4. Then he'd have 6 remaining. We use this person, and it will get killed. It'll be picked off. Right? Let's just hope we can do this bleeding thing. 4 attack. That's fuck all. 3 attack. We could go for the shield ally option. We haven't got a first action option on either of these. We do have definitely a confuse there. That would be really good. So that gets knocked out. And then this will attack her for 4 damage. But when the attack comes back round, we'll end up doing 22 damage, which will just kill that. And then... Who knows? I think it's wise to... To confuse? Definitely. Right. And we should win this fine. I don't know what I was worrying about. I am absolutely bossing this. But you do get some really hard fights on this. They come out of absolutely nowhere. And they are a throbbing anal ache. Phase 2. Yes, just killed it. Yeah, not enough. Not by far, and we win the battle. Spot on. 
Shield and uh, Borneo. And before we end this session, we might as well get the funk in here. We'll go for a sickness, I'll show you a sickness, and we can brew a sickness. And it's the same thing, it's just various uh, card mini games, and uh, they're absolutely awesome. Ah, that's not what we want at all. Yeah, that's more like it, thank you. Thank you very much. Pawn's turn first. Oh, some new music there, I forgot to mention. There is new music in this game, and I would love to get my hands on the soundtrack. I really would. Um, counter a tactical card. No, we can't. That'll be level 3, just like that. Does 8 smegan damage? Right, we're knackered. She's going to do 8 to her, which will almost kill her. This is actually the hardest one I've done. I think there's a chance one of our characters can get uh, severely hurt. <clears throat> Play your card. Bring this guy up. He's got 9 attack, mind you, which isn't bad. In fact, that's going down. That's dead as doornails, but this guy is taking an absolute hammering. Let's, uh, let's get closer with all of these. Because there's nothing else we can do with them. And they can come in and deal some punishment. Let's end turn. Fight phase! Yeah, she's dead as doornails. Oh, wait on a minute. We. Mm, nah. He's dead. He could be poisoned like a demon. We'll find out. Oh, we're fine. Right, I think there's a chance he can be poisoned, which isn't good at all. Um, and we got one, a Nectar. Very good. And um, let's proceed and take out this undead filth with an auto-resolve. And we got two, two wounds there, which is nothing. But it just shows you, if you don't do it personally, you can get absolutely shot on. And we have some improved abilities, plus two tactics, one six, that'll have to do us for this absolutely funk king session I have thoroughly enjoyed. And I hope you stick around for more Fear the Awakening. Thank you very much and a goodbye.